everyone. Welcome to the Senior Podcast Show. This is our first episode of the new year, so happy new year. I know everyone is probably thinking about what goals that they are going to try to achieve this year or what goals they're going to say that they're going to try to achieve. (laughs) Hopefully you can stick to them this year. This show is going to be a little bit different. We have done so many different shows about all things that involve seniors, whether that's respite care, home health care, senior living. But today, since it is the start of a new year, we wanted to help you achieve those goals and help you think about ways on how to plan those goals so that they are achievable and are able to maintain them. The second part of our show, we have a very special guest. Her name is Mary West, and she is one of our clients from one of our divisions. So I also wanted to take a chance because we always say, I'm Corey or I'm Chelsea or I'm so-and-so and I'm from the senior companies. So we have been getting a few questions coming in like, what are the senior companies exactly? So again, we're going to go through some ways to make some goals, achieve your goals, talk a little bit about what the senior companies entails, and then also have one of our clients on Mary West. So let's jump into it. Setting goals in the new year. Setting goals in the new year, like I said, millions of us set them and then we often forget about them. So what is one of the main things that you can do to help you keep up with your goals? It's very simple. Write them down. Write those goals down. If you do not see them every single day, they're easy to forget about. So stick them on your bathroom mirror. Put them on your fridge. Make them digitally on your phone. Make it your phone's home screen. Make it your laptop's home screen so that you are seeing and being reminded of them every single day. That is so important. And also, you can create different goals for the different components of your life, whether that is relationship goals, finance goals, health and fitness goals, spiritual goals, work goals. Um... If you set one or two goals in each of them, you're bound to see a ripple effect. So if once you start getting a little progress or you've met one, you get more excited and it keeps you motivated to keep on meeting those goals. So while it would be great to lose 30 pounds, get out of debt, get a new job that pays twice your salary, um, we do want to make sure that any resolutions that you set that you can accomplish within that first 12 months. So instead of setting a huge goal that involves lots of steps and working on the different framing of those resolutions, smaller goals can help you feel more accomplished and keep you motivated. So like saying, I'm going to replace my nighttime snack of ice cream with carrots. Although it's not exciting, those are steps that can help keep you healthy. It might make you feel good. Or or I am going to think of different ways so that I can pay down my debt or to save $5,000 that year. So while $5,000 might seem like a lot, for some people, how do you break that down? So how do what monthly goal do I need to meet? What weekly goal do I need to meet to help you reach that very, that end goal? Um, and also make them measurable. So like I said, when it, if your goal is to try to save or to lose weight, you know, keep writing it down. I have this much. I've lost this much. I've saved this much so that you can see where you're at in meeting that goal. That is huge. Um, and stick to them. You need to be able to consistently see those goals and see that progress so that you stay motivated and stay on track. Sometimes needing Helping you meet those goals is having someone hold you accountable. So if your goal is a fitness goal um, and you're going to work with Jim or you're going to work with Deborah, and you guys say every Wednesday at 3.30, we're meeting at the gym and that day you might not be feeling it, but you get that call, you get that text that's like, hey, I'm on my way. I'm going to meet you there. You might decide that you're going to do it when you have somebody else saying, I am waiting for you to do it. And and so although we might not want to share some of those finance goals with people, you can have somebody check in and say, hey, my goal is to get down some of my debt. And just have them send you a text and say, hey, where are you at on your saving? I think it can help you a lot and help you maintain and meeting some of those goals. Every single year as a company, the senior companies, we go through the same thing. We reflect on all the wins we had and reflect on some of the losses that we had. Some of the things we could have gone and done better, we innovate those ideas and we set new goals for the new year. That's the amazing feeling. I mean, there's something refreshing about the new year. You can say all of the bad things that happened, all of the things that maybe I didn't love or I didn't agree with, I'm done with. I'm leaving them in last year and this year is going to be great. And I think a lot of us with the past couple of years with COVID and this and that, like we are ready to say goodbye and just keep moving forward. And so setting those goals is so important. 
And that leads me to the senior companies. Cause like I said, we review those goals every single year. We have some big things coming. We've been getting a lot of messages from listeners that are basically like, listen, what's the senior companies exactly? And so I wanted to just take a little bit of time to go over what the senior companies is. The senior companies is a division of companies that facilitates uh, seniors uh, in, in all aspects of their lives. The division that started it that started it all is the senior movers. And so it is locally based out of Troy, Michigan, and we help seniors relocate into within and out of senior living communities. We do the whole shebang, pack and unpack. Um, we walk them through the entire steps of the relocation from finding a, a place to relocate to within senior living, to helping them downsize and also clear out their home. We also help them um, find resources that they might need during that process beyond relocation. So if they need someone to sell their home, if they need someone to um, talk uh, legal matters with, you know, uh, if they don't want to sell the home, but they want to leave it to a family member, how do they go about doing that? And so that's where the senior network comes in. All of our divisions work hand in hand so that we are like a one-stop shop for seniors to be able to do all the things that they need to do as they continue to age in life. So the senior network is all of those resources. And we've had lots of our partners on. We've had Marion Grout, who is a real estate specialist. We have had Park Home Care, who helps with mobility, therapy, and nursing. We have also had on senior living community directors that are our partners who really help uh, talk to our seniors about the benefits of senior living. We have planned in the future here, probably coming next week, um, one of our lawyer partners coming on to talk about trusts and estates. So we have all of those options available for our seniors. We even just signed one, um, Go Seniors Transportation. Go Seniors Transportation, not, out, not all of our clients can drive, so they need uh, the ability to be able to get from A to B. So we just refer them um, to Go Seniors so that they can get where they need to get safely, regardless of their level of mobility. So it's a really amazing program. We also have bins for rent. Bins for rent is one that goes hand in hand with the senior mover. So instead of using boxes and tape and scissors and buying them and uh, building them up and tearing them down and packing them, we use eco-friendly red bins. Um, we can pack them or, or our clients can pack them. Um, we drop them off. We pick them up, all the things so that they don't have to break down those boxes, saves them a few different trips. And it's just a really amazing, eco-friendly way to pack up the belongings. We have the Senior Podcast Show. Hello, you're listening to it right now, where we, our aim is to educate and empower seniors about all different kinds of topics while also giving them a little bit of entertainment, I hope. We have big things coming for the Senior Podcast Show. We debuted our Senior Variety segment last week where we're going to do live demos, or not live, I should say, but demonstrations, probably some lives in there too, yoga, cooking, you name it. Bear with me here. I sound like um, Phoebe from Friends when she gets sick on that episode. It's my uh, my sick voice. So all new things cooking within the Senior Podcast Series, which leads me to the Senior Advisors. The Senior Advisors is close to my heart. I love this division so much. We have big news coming soon as far as the Senior Advisors go. We have a brand new program rolling out probably in the next couple of weeks here. Don't want to say too much, but as we release it, obviously, I'll let you know. But in general, the Senior Advisors is a consultative service for seniors and their families. So we can help them with family harmony. We can help them with education on dementia or mobility loss, independence loss. We can help them with um, diet and nutrition and what are some of the next steps in, in discharge planning? So let's say that you went to rehab and then you broke your hip and then you're like, oh my goodness, that rehab stay wasn't long enough. I need more help so that I can A, stay at home. So how do you age in place? and sort of work through that healing process, we can help you create a plan for that. Or if you're done at home and you are unable to stay there due to whatever accident that happened, like how do you transition into a place that can help take care of the needs that you have that you didn't have before? So our team of advisors, certified senior advisors, will help you go through that process and create a care plan with obviously you at the center of it making all those decisions. And we know that our newest program within the senior advisors to be down soon is just going to continue on that path to help more and more. And that is going to be a national program. That is not just one that's offered locally. So we are so excited about that. And as more information is allowed to be released, obviously we'll talk about it here on the Senior Podcast Show. So that leads me to bring in one of our clients. So Mary West is a client that we had who we recently helped relocate into a senior living community. 
I had her on to talk about her experience. What are some of the questions she asked? What led her up to decide to live in senior living? She has a really interesting story. She's lived in multiple different places within the United States, in California, Kentucky, and Michigan. Um, she finally moved to Michigan and her son was like, listen, Ma, you got to go into senior living. And while at first she wasn't too keen on it, she ended up taking control of the situation and saying, all right, if that is the next step, what I need, that's what I need because she was having some falls and some things. Um, she was like, fine, then I'm going to I'm going to take it upon myself and I'm going to ask the questions at the communities and I'm going to decide what that community looks like for me based on what makes me happy. And I love that she was so empowered. That's not exactly what she had in mind for herself, but she took control of the situation and made the best of it. And I'll let her tell you how excited she was about the entire process and how that works. So without further ado, here's Mary West. We are here today with a very special guest of <laughs> ours. Her name is Mary. Mary, thank you so much for joining us Hello. today. You're welcome. Woo! <laughs> so we have a couple of amazing topics throughout our entire series. We have been talking about senior living, what that entails. We've talked about the benefits of socialization. We've talked about family harmony, all of the different things that seniors and their families would think about in deciding to relocate into senior living. So we brought our Indeed. special guest on today <laughs> <laughs> to talk about her experience in choosing senior living, what she likes about it, maybe some things she dislikes about it if we get a little crazy. <laughs> and then, of course, about her actual relocation and how that went in using the senior movers. So... Like I said, Mary is a senior mover client of ours, and so she had such a good experience. She wanted to come hey, on senior movers. <laughs> and share that with our audience. But also, I want to talk a little bit about you. Uh, you have lived in a couple of different states. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Well, kids, I really miss California tremendously. However, I met unexpectedly a man, one of many that I have met during my life. And he and my son bonded and they decided that Mary needs to be close to her grandchildren, which I totally concurred. Absolutely. With. Yet neither one of them wanted me to move to Michigan, this state. Why? Because I have a tendency to fall. Oh, okay. I'm not real stable when I walk. And they decided because quote unquote, mom or Mary loves horses. What a great place for me to move, to make that transition. So they moved me to the Kentucky bluegrass country. I can hear a little bit of that, playing, <laughs> just a little bit. It comes back quickly. <laughs> it does. It's so funny how that happens. So how long did you live in Kentucky for? Uh, two years. And then this lovely man decided that he wanted to go back to California. Why? Because it's warmer kids, there. <laughs> well, that too. But his children and his grandchildren lived in California and they were really upset. That, oh, they missed him. Yeah, that they didn't see him anymore. Sure. So we're still very good friends. But then my son said, It's this. Mom. Is that how he talks to? You're moving to Michigan. <laughs> No, that's the authoritarian voice. <laughs> Mom. Okay, I moved to Michigan, so I was going to move to St. Clair Shores. Okay. You know, right on the... Right on the water? Right on the water. Beautiful. And then I could walk down Kirchival and da-da-da-da-da. And then I hear, Mom. And he said, Leah and I have been looking at some senior living... I said, What? He said, we've been looking at a few, just be open-minded. And so Leah, his wife, uh, and George drove me to American House Troy. Okay. And I stayed there for a couple of days, and they were fantastic. Um, but I'm, I'm a severe perfectionist, number one. Number two, I discovered Bloomfield Hills, which wasn't going to be ready for quite a few months. So long story short, I decided I'm going to move into Bloomfield Hills and temporary residence was provided for me in West Bloomfield. Oh, okay. I wondered how that worked. Yeah. So they knew all along that you were 
that your intention they was knew Bloomfield. All along, but the I lovely see. thing they did is the apartment in West Bloomfield had a view of trees and a little teeny tiny pond and a grass area, which is Mary is freakish about. So that's where that's where I stayed until finally, finally, Bloomfield Hills became ready. And when I moved in, it was insane. What was not insane is the fact that senior movers and the boys were absolutely phenomenal. How were they phenomenal? Tell us all about it. Mary's moved many, 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 many times. And cross-country moves, and those are really hard. I've had breakage. I've had furniture, like an off-white sofa, you know, bang into walls. Mm. And then one... I was moving from Southern California, and one mover, and they were, you know, they're loud and they're boisterous and they're this and they're that. They're yelling at each other. Knocked over a vase that I had. It was about that tall with flowers in it. Didn't say he was sorry, nothing. So I just called a friend of mine, and I said, will you please come over here and watch the rest of this? I can't take it. So I walked downstairs, and the... Moving truck, of course, is open, and I see my California king bed dropped to the filthy floor. They oh, didn't even have a clean floor, and they were it? laughing. They didn't even wrap it? I guess not. And they were laughing hysterically. I Then I became hysterical. No, I, I didn't, but I just I wanted just to. Left, so. <laughs> I just left. Oh. Yeah, I just left. And when these... I was very, very concerned because Bloomfield Hills has 150 units, and it's kind of in a, let me do it this way towards the camera, kind of in a little yeah, like a slight, U, slight U. And then they have apartments coming off the back this way, coming off the back this way, coming off the back that way. But the freight elevator is all, right, all the way over here. And I was told my pod, which of course houses furnishings, they store it. Uh-huh. Had to be unloaded over here. And I was going, oh, all the way. They have to go up, up the freight elevator, walk down this building, walk down this hall. And I'm all the way at the end of the hall because I like privacy. And I have can't a, blame you. I have a view in this apartment as well. And I thought, here goes another nightmare. I thought, here goes another. Well, that's what we specialize in. <laughs> These boys, there was not one grunt, not one groan, not one complaint. They were dressed meticulously. They Mm -hmm. even have senior mover logos on their little shirts. They wear uniforms. Yep. And they were impeccably dressed. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Absolutely meticulously clean. And as I just said, impeccably dressed. And then the boys were so gentle with my belongings. Even when they were carting it down the hallways, there was hardly a sound. There was hardly a sound. And they were expeditious in unloading Mm -hmm. the carts, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I've just never experienced anything like it. Well, and that's why we, when, when Paul came up with the senior movers, he wanted for people to be able to have that experience because moving is so stressful. It it's is. it's always something after another. No yes. matter how much you plan, something always happens. And so that's why he wanted to create this service for seniors to specifically help them relocate into within and out of communities what because you're right. Move. What a brilliant move. And we know how important it is to make sure that when people show up, they do look good because then you're going to feel more calm. You're going to know that they're there for relocation. And they were you're clean not, and they were well groomed. Well, and it's not, there's so many scams out there that they could say, oh, yep, we're your movers. And they live in the age of scams, that's people. That's right. And so if you're they're dressed that way with logo stuff, you know who they are, and who they say they calm. are. Voices. They never raise their voices to each other. Not at all. Look at you smile. Aww, it's true. That's it was good. We love it, to hear that. It stuff. was a delight. And you, 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 you. There was no other company in the world that you should ever choose other than senior movers. They follow through. They offer the ultimate in services. Aside from what I just mentioned, they offer the ultimate in all types of 
let's just say care, stability, and keeping keeping the new resident calm. Mm-hmm. So I am so deeply grateful. And um, we're not paying her to say this either. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not. I, I like that you said the stability because I think that's really important because I think Jonathan uh, – one of our certified senior advisors works so hard at making sure that people have all of their an- questions answered, provides you with all of the guidance to say, this is what happens first and second and third and day of the Absolutely. relocation. Absolutely. Jonathan was hypothetically by my side all, all the way, every step of the way. Jonathan never, never deferred. Never. I love that. So, I am so glad that you had such a good experience going into Bloomfield. Can you tell us a little bit about when you, because I know you said that your son and Leah had looked at a couple of places. What, when you said, oh, no, no, I want to be in this decision a little bit more. Correct. What kind of questions were you asking the community when you just, to help you decide on a community? What questions did you ask them? Well, new was the new was the inter- new was number part, one, <laughs> and view view was second. New and view, I like it. <laughs> yeah, but it goes together. Yes, it does. New and view, and then I was told by the marketing director at Bloomfield that the new residents that are moving in here are a little more vivacious and a little more youthful. And I said, they are? And she said, yes. So I was just going, okay. And you're like, that's what I need. And a gourmet chef, she said she was bringing over to Bloomfield. Now, this is very unusual. But I guess Mary is spoiled. <laughs> so, <laughs> As you should be. <laughs> and they have occupational therapy. They mm-hmm. have get-togethers. They have happy hours. They have social events. They have they have movie theaters in mm-hmm. American homes, American house homes. They have um, bingo rooms. They have mm-hmm. bistros, libraries, anything an individual could want other than having your own personal car. Um, but typically they have a bus that takes residents out for shopping and mm-hmm one restaurant visit a week, et cetera, et cetera. So it's worked out beautifully. And I love, I love Bloomfield Hills. I'm very happy. That's a big deal. Cause I know like when you first started talking about it and you're, and you were using your authoritative voice saying, <laughs> Mary, you have to go into senior living. It, it didn't sound like you were too excited when your son brought that up. So you know, you said, okay, I'll keep an open mind. Fine. I'll go on some tours with you. Uh-huh. When you started going on the tours, how did you feel? Like I wanted my own apartment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like I still wanted my own apartment. And my son just said, Mom, as you get older, if something happens to you, please allow us to keep talking about this. So so staff will be on hand, and you don't have to make another move. This could be your final move. Right. And you know what, kids? This is my final move. I'm not doing <laughs> it again. <laughs> I mean, you do live in a beautiful community. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's, some of the uh, aesthetics, I, I was surprised. I would never put some of those things together, but when I walked in and seen it, That's what I, was I kept like, thinking. It's beautiful. Yeah. Even my, my son and, and his wife. They came over last weekend. To, was that their first time to see? It was George's second and Leah's first. Nice. And they came over to hang some paintings and some mirrors. And they brought me a little Christmas tree. And Aww. Leah was just walking around with her mouth agape, just like, oh, she said, I can't believe it. Mm-hmm. I, it's so beautiful. Their decor is to die for. So between senior movers and American house, Mary's sold. Mary's very well taken (laughs) care of. Thank you very much. So um, I know you said that your two requirements on the list for the relocation into Bloomfield was the view and for it to be new. But did you ask them about like any any of the services that they offered before that? Because I know you can have all the things you mentioned or you can just say, I don't want to use any of that. I was 
I asked I asked about every service that they offer, every service, mm -hmm. and I was given the answer. I reiterated some of them a few minutes ago. Yeah. Um, but one of them was maybe the restaurant. Yeah. But they serve three meals a day, and again, they have a new they have a gourmet chef there, and he is so talented. But frankly speaking, I decided not to spend the extra money on food. I'm just doing Instacart right now. And Instacart Kids works. It really works. I'll say I think a lot of people sometimes don't realize how convenient those services are. You order what you want and it shows up at your door. I yeah. think more more seniors need to be using that service, especially when it's winter time in Michigan. Oh, I would not dare go out. Seriously, I don't no, want to I, either. I, I use it too. <laughs> I was thinking about going, uh, doing my own marketing this week, and then I thought about all that I needed. Including my gallon water bottles and this, and I thought you're not going to schlep that from the store to here. When you use it at the community, do does the Instacart person bring it all the way up to your apartment, or do yes. they? Always, they do. They started. They started the other way, but again, Mary's a little spoiled. So, <laughs> well, sometimes if you I don't ask, it. it doesn't happen. Doesn't hurt to ask. Yeah. So I I always give them explicit. It, mm -hmm. instructions mm -hmm. i.e. suggestions yeah that um when you come into american house just walk through the lobby to the first hallway take the elevator up to the third floor head right and then they they always do it that's amazing it is it's fantastic yeah so i tip a little higher but you know what kids it's really worth the money it is well and then too you get exactly what you want and I'm not hurting my back more than it's already hurt because I'm old. <laughs> I think you're only as old as you feel. How old do you feel today? Uh, about, <laughs> Don't answer that. It's just a joke. 55. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that you still meet the age requirement to move into senior living, isn't it? 55 and up? <laughs> sure it is. Of course it is. I want the, the last thing I want to talk a little bit more about, too, is... It, what sort of advice do you have for someone who is like teetering on the edge? Do you would you just say just stop teetering, go ahead, jump in and do it? I would look at available properties to find out what you're you are comfortable with, and then from there, kind of pick up on the vibe within the community. That's a really good tip. And, of course, ask them what their activities are. Ask them about what all their services are and determine if any of these services will meet your needs. Um, I got what I wanted, so just be very selective. And they really have thought of everything that a senior could want. I'm telling you. I, and, I, and they do fun parties. I'm sure they got a holiday party coming up. Oh, yeah. You're just going to knock them dead. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, dear. I think that's really good advice because just because one place doesn't have everything that you want doesn't mean that you can't go to the next and ask that same question and find one that does meet your personality. I think that's a, that's a wonderful point. Thank you. Well, even we seniors can still pick up on the vibes. Yeah, for sure. And the... No bad vibes know, here. <laughs> well, not within senior movers, and I'm in their office today, by the way. Um, it's only positive here, but yeah, just be sensitive to that. And, uh, there'll be a lot of people that you can meet that will want to meet you and you'll make lifelong relationships and friendships. That's amazing to say. Cause I do think it's really nerve wracking. You probably feel like it's like going to school again. Oh, what if I don't meet any friends and all that jazz, you know, but I, I joined, um, Next Door, which is a community, online community um, program. And I plan on going to some of the meetings and gatherings they're having and see to whom I can extrapolate from there yeah. to maybe get some relationships going. Well, I mean, that's the thing, too, because, I mean, for moving to California, you leave your friends behind there. And then if you were in Kentucky for a couple of years, you leave behind your friends there. And now you got to start all over again. But yes. I don't think you'll have a problem because you're very outgoing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Between all of the amazing things you said about the senior movers and about 
all the advice that you have given to our audience, I think it's really amazing. I think the biggest takeaway is listen to your intuition, oh, like you said. Please. She told me please. that behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> listen to your intuition. Make sure you ask. Have a list of things that are important to you and make sure that you stick with that. You know, stay true to, to what you want. Absolutely. And again, do not even consider any other company to move you other than Senior movers. The senior movers are on the move. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You'll have to say that next time you get in the car. That's what we always say when we get in onto the next relocation, the next service. We say the senior movers are on the move. move. Yeah. That's, that's definitely some background stuff. We don't tell everybody that, but I guess we just do. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> so I want to thank you, Mary. Thank you so much for your advice for our audience, for your insight, and also for all of the wonderful things you said about the Senior Movers. We really encourage our audience to give us a call, find out how the Senior Movers can assist you with a streamlined, stress-free relocation with the assistance of a certified senior advisor. Absolutely. All of our team in our office has amazing credentials like uh, certified dementia practitioner, certified certified brain injury specialist, certified recreational therapist. It goes on and on and on. We are here and we are ready to help in, in so many capacities through our many divisions, the senior advisors, the senior network, and so on. So if you have any questions, you can email me at kl at theseniormovers.com or again, call us at 586 586- 204 Thank you so much for joining us on another episode of the Senior Podcast Show. See you next time. Bye-bye. Give me a cheers. Cheers to ya. Salute.